Okay guys, so I'm literally walking back to my car from class. And uh, I think I might have just bought a bike, like on accident. So I saw this, this Facebook Marketplace post. There's a second gen CBR 600RR. It's red, it matches the Supra. And um, I just threw like a random lowball offer on it. And he accepted it. So now we're gonna go see it. And we'll see what happens, but yeah, it's it's all the way in like Tampa. So we're gonna have to drive there. I think Yashan's probably gonna ride it back. And then um Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna have a look at it and see if it's actually a good buy because holy crap, I didn't expect him to actually accept the offer because it was a really, really low offer. Checking out the bike right now, just seeing if everything's good with it. And then uh, we're probably gonna ride it just to see, but it looks decent so far. We're, we're, we're signing paperwork for the bike. We're signing paperwork for the bike on the Supra. The test ride, everything checks out, and uh, there it is right there. I'll show you guys a little bit more of it, like when we get home, I guess. But yeah, it's nice. It's it's a red CBR 600 double R with fairing kit, but you know, it's cool. I'll take it for 3100. All right, well, bike checks out. It sounds so good. Yoshimura exhaust on it already. That was awesome. But yeah, we're just heading home right now. So yeah, we got like a far, far drive back. Holy shit, that sounds amazing. Too my fucking back. So there's something wrong with it. It doesn't start. We can only bump start it. Or push started it. So we're gonna go back to his place, try a new battery, because his battery's like four years old. I gotta see if it works or not. At first we're gonna get gas. So it should be a vibe. I'll make it I got you. It looks so nice. I can't believe I own a bike. That's so crazy. Let me enjoy my first first time filling up the little oh hello, it stopped automatically. Keep going. First time filling up the motorized bicycle. And that is full tank. Now you have to put this back on because uh, it's it broke. So uh, another thing that this thing needs fixing. I feel like press it down super hard. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, nice. Now I have to bump start this all over again, which is. Gonna be fun. Okay, so the Coca-Cola guys were cool enough to let us just park our stuff next to their truck because it kind of matches and it's honestly kind of a vibe. So we're just gonna take some shots here and then probably dip out. So it was the battery. That was the issue. So we just got the battery from his CBR, put it on put it into here, and now it works. Everything is fine. Wow! And uh this CBR has no battery. Well, okay, so yeah, it is the battery issue. So we did get to figure it out. <laughs> a little lazy ear touch me. Okay, perfect, cool. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And now we know there's a battery issue. Now we can worry about all the other issues that this bike has, like the missing turn signal, the incorrect like mirror, what is this called? Base? Oh, I fixed it. But it's still like. Oh yeah, I didn't need to fix it. Yeah, okay. And also the bike is like a little too high and there's also like a rat's nest. Rat's nest with the cables in here and also in here that we need to figure it out. But that's probably gonna be for another time. It's low-key like 1 a.m. and I'm very tired. So update, it's 2 a.m. and uh, it's almost 3 a.m. Holy crap, I need sleep. I have a 9 a.m. in a couple of hours. But uh, just the clutch, just the clutch down there. So now it's more like comfy for me, I guess. I wanna figure out what we can do about the brake situation because it feels a little too uncomfortable on the right side, but we're gonna figure that out tomorrow. I need to go to sleep, I'm so tired. I can't believe I have a CBR now, which is insane. We always have to figure out this 
this situation down here too, but we'll figure it out at a later date. So yeah, as you guys can see, I literally bought a CBR. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting to get a bike this week. Cause um, I was expecting to get it next week, like get a bike next week, cause this week's been so busy with exams, but I really did want a bike. And I have been looking for like the past couple of weeks now. But yeah, and um, I'll make a video later about like how I convinced like <laughs> my parents to let me actually have a bike. But that's um, that's for another time. But it's it's really interesting. Let's just say some some mental warfare was absolutely involved. But uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'll make a full video on it just to you know like educate you guys on how to finesse a bicycle or a motorized bicycle into your household. But yeah, I really can't believe I just bought a bike like that on a whim. It had 45,000 miles. We got it for a pretty decent deal. I think we got like, we paid like 3K for it. 45,000 miles, 2005. Honestly, it, the miles do seem kind of high, but the motor itself seems very sound and there's nothing like wrong with like, the engine itself. And that's like one of the main reasons why I bought it. Because the other bikes that we went to check out, like they were like either a little bit more expensive. So like $3,500, dollars for the same generation with like 22,000 miles, 25,000 miles. But like some things need to be like redone. Some things need to be replaced. So like I really didn't want to like do all that to, especially to the motor of the bike. This bike, the only big problems we've seen so far are turn signals. Maybe fork seals need to be redone sooner or later. The rear tire is like in fair condition. The front tire is in like decent condition. And um, just the battery. And that's all we've seen. And the gas cap. And yeah, just little knickknack problems that can be replaced and redone. So I'm thankful for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's like a super quick one. Uh, the next ones will be longer, I promise, but yeah, we're going to end up doing a ton of work to this thing, and um, yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy this, because I'm, I'm honestly planning to keep it for a while, because I, honestly, I, I love riding so much, <laughs> like, I, like, I've been riding, like, on and off, like, my friend's bikes and stuff like that, and I've been getting learning and like, getting better on bikes, and the reason why I started on a CBR, I'll make a video on that later, too. Oh, that's uh, an interesting video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to the world. And just, you know, be good people. Be a good person. Yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Be good people. Bye.